And then there were three. Welcome to the huddle, everyone. I'm Tim Gross, joined by Angry Eagles fan Keith Schweigert and our staff leader in picks, Laura Thompson. Uh, three teams in the LL League left in the District 3 playoffs. Uh, we're going to talk about all three games. Uh, we've got Hemfield at Central Dolphin. We've got Susquehanna Township at Mannheim Central and Solanco at Bishop McDevitt. Uh, let's start in Quad A with Hemfield at Central Dolphin. Uh, Hemfield getting over the hump. Uh, they've lost in the quarterfinals twice, but they're into the semifinals this round. Uh, do you think that's going to carry them further? Yeah, I, I mean, it could. The, there is something to be said for momentum. Unfortunately, the reward for, for getting to this stage is the top seed in the, in the uh, bracket. And, uh, you know, Central Dolphin, they're, what can you say? They're living up to their billing. Uh, you know, this is, they're going for their third dis district championship. They seem to have been on a mission since they lost to Wilson in, in last year's final. And uh, I, I don't have a good feeling about it for Hemfield. Uh, uh, on paper, you look at the stats, they match up pretty well. But I think Central Dolphin, you know, probably has an advantage in strength of schedule. They've played two Section 1 teams that beat Wilson, or beat Hemfield and, and beat them both. And really what Hemfield does best is run the ball, and that's what Central Dolphin is best at, at stopping on defense. So I, I like the Rams here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Central Dolphin. Well, you know, uh, wideout Will Blair, quarterback, um, Sam Kramer, they're very, very good at their jobs. But I tend to agree with Keith is that, you know, Central Dolphin just, I think, has a little bit more oomph in most areas of the game. So I will uh, stick with them as well. I agree with you guys. I think it was a little cathartic for Hemfield to get over that hump uh, in the quarterfinals, and I think Central Dolphin, like Keith said, is on that mission to, to get to the final again and, and win another district title, so I think they're going to have the advantage. And in a triple-A semifinal, we've got Susquehanna Township at Mannheim Central. Uh, Mannheim Central blew out East Pennsboro last week, so uh, you know, what do you think you're going to see this week? You know, I, I think they're, they've really found their stride there. They've really hit their stride over the last, you know, maybe three or four weeks. You know, in that span, they, they knock off Solanco, giving Solanco its only loss of the year. You mentioned how well they've done in the playoffs so far. So I think of, of the, the three LL League teams that are left, Central probably has the best chance this week, at, at least on paper. That said, <laughs> uh, Susquehanna Township is probably... I think their, their seeding is a little deceptive. They started off really slowly. They were one and three, but they've won eight in a row since then, and they're really riding a wave of momentum. Uh, tough as it is to go into Mannheim and get a win, I, I think they, they're probably going to do it here. I, I'm liking Susquehanna Township. Well, like you said, they're, you know, they, they, Township won its opener, and then they lost three straight and haven't lost since. Plus, including it, also included in that win streak is the, they have become the one team to knock off Bishop McDevitt this year. And, you know, that was in week six. How'd they do it? They did it with completely balanced football. You know, they ran well, they threw well, and they beat McDevitt on both sides of the ball. Um, but as you said, it, it looks really, really even on paper. And yeah, I, I part of me hates to pick against uh, against, um, yeah, easy for me to say, Mannheim Central. Um, but I think I will agree with you this week and, and uh, take East Pennsboro. I think Mannheim Central uh, survives this one. I think the, both teams have been putting up gobs of points in, in bunches, and I think it's going to be a little bit closer. Uh, they haven't really played close games in the last couple of weeks. So, and I think in a close game like this, uh, there are a couple of factors that can kind of swing things. I think field position is going to be a big, a big factor. And with Derek sure. Adams, you know, Planning uh, teams on their, and they're in 20 or, or behind, I think uh, it's going to be a huge advantage for Central. Plus, if the, game, if the game comes down to a couple points late and, you know, you got a kicker at the quality of uh, Derek Adams, I think that can uh, be the difference for them. So I think uh, Central keeps it, if they can keep it close, I think uh, they got a shot to win it. Uh, and finally, uh, Solanco, Bishop, McDevitt. Uh, obviously, McDevitt has been the team to knock off a bunch of LL teams uh, the last couple of years. They took down... Uh, Cocalico in the final last year. They've took in, taken down Manheim Central a couple times in the last couple years. You know, LS, Lancaster Catholic. Whenever there's an LL team on a roll, it seems like they end up running to the Crusaders, and uh, that's where their season ends. So uh, do you think Solanco has enough to overcome that? Yeah, like, like you said, McDevitt is like the destroyer of Lancaster Lebanon League dreams in the district playoffs. And I was looking up, the, right now they've won 22 straight district playoff games. Ten of those have come against LL League competition. So... It's, they're they're just this giant colossus, you know, sitting there waiting for whoever comes out of the yellow league and districts. And I, I think there is a formula here that Solanco could use to win the game. I'm not saying it's impossible if they can run their offense, which is an offense I don't think McDevitt has a whole lot of experience with. Right. 
if they can chew up clock and, and not fall behind, keep it close because they're not really built to come back, they can win. I just don't know that they will win. I think uh, even though this isn't the same Bishop McDevitt team we remember with you know Andre Robinson and those guys that just seem like they've been in the lineup for eight years, they've got new faces, but they're still really good and they're at home. So I, I think that tips it in McDevitt's favor. I'm going to take the Crusaders. Well, what do we know? We know that Solanko is going to do what it always does. You know, McArdle rushed for 15 times uh, last week. He had a career-high 217 yards, and the Mules racked up just, I think, one shy. They, they had four, 499 on the ground uh, last week. Um, but can they... Can they continue their momentum? And we know that they we know that they're going to be coming out all kinds of fired up for this game. But it's McDevitt, so I right. have to I have to pick them as well. I think the farther you get into the playoffs, it's harder and harder to win with a one-dimensional offense. You know, Solanco has a ton of options when they run the option. Uh, they do a lot of different things offensively, but it's still very run heavy. Uh, I just think they need uh, another kind of element to keep the McDevitt defense off its game and you know, kind of spread things out a little bit. Uh, Tony Cox actually brought his players to the, the final last year between McDevitt and Cocalico just to give them a sense of, of what playing in that environment was like. It was in Hershey Park Stadium, but you know, going to McDevitt's going to be a challenge. And uh, I think maybe Solanco has, they've shown that they have a, a couple wrinkles in their offense, a couple trick plays, uh, a couple different looks that they can give defenses. But is it going to be enough to, to really throw off the McDevitt defense? I don't think so. Uh, I think McDevitt can uh, hold on and, uh, like Keith said, become that uh, colossus uh, nightmare that all teams are so used to seeing. So those are our picks. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. And be sure to check out all our coverage on LancasterOnline.com.